it is uh, 16 degrees Fahrenheit so well below freezing everything was out here all night uh, my friend asked me to make him some cash and he gave me a couple of bags of what looks like a pretty good product so I'm good and dry with seeds in it Okay, so that's all his pot in there. Now, I am making what I'm going to call Canadian rock hash. Oh. Rocks. Put them in my bucket. Now, charge the battery. with the rocks rolling around in there and them being frozen it's knocking the crystal off the pot it's breaking up the pot and uh, here's my bucket you see this is all I've done is use the handle made a loop put a couple of holes in and uh, and this is making hash straight clean and simple and I uh, keep my camera out I'll show you what comes out of that bucket once the battery's dead my battery's dead. You can see that it's now reduced down to... It's all broke down anyway. So, so this is just regular old window screen. So this will sort out the stock stuff. Yeah, as you can see, there's very little coming through now. So, so we put the red bag inside the orange bag inside the yellow bag, and we put put that in there. go inside the bucket. Now I want to take this and do it with yeah just three stones. Okay so now So, this has to go in here, and then I bend it over the wire like so, and because it's so stiff up here, once I put the cover on, it'll hold the bag. Let me get it going. Okay, I'm putting the rocks in there. We're good to go. Okay, so I went through two batteries. I wanted to get as much out of this for them as I can. Well, it looks like lots of, lots and lots of crystal, fine crystal that made it through the yellow bag. This is, I had to cut the twist tie so that I can straighten out the yellow bag some and sweep it off. Untie it. So that 
you know. I'm gonna put that in there. Oh. Now, what's inside the bucket now? I want all of that down. I want to put that in the jar and keep it separate. It's just like talking powder. That's so fine. Oh, nice smelling stuff. So now I'm gonna take this inside, and we'll empty the bags. I'm ready to start here. So, this is my little hardwood mold that I made, and so anyway, you want to take this out, leaving the parchment paper inside the mold, and take some, you want it to be nice and even in there, because if not, some will compress more than the other. That's ready for, to press. On my press, just a big old C clamp that I've abused too much and it's starting to show its age. I like to center things up. Looks pretty much centered. I'm going to let that set for a couple of minutes. Okay, so I sat for a while. And it just happened that my friend who I was making this for showed up. So we'll take it out of here. And I'll take it over to my friend. So let's see what you think of this. And yeah, that's just video right here, so you're not on it. And now, uh, you watching a little fella, ain't it? Make it sure I ain't gonna hurt him. Gave my friend his uh, chunk of hash, and he's on his merry way. And I see that I never uh, actually showed the finished product on there. And this is the finished product. And that, my friends, is Canadian rock hash. Made outside, well below freezing, no water, no ice, no dry ice, just the hash bags, sifting bags, whatever you call them, and pot, and rocks, and my shaker. My hash making is done for this year. Anybody know an easier way to make nice hash than that? Because that's, that's, that's nice stuff. And stay tuned for the Candleman can videos, because... I got a lot of little projects on the go. And I think you'll like some of them. <laughs>